my eight years. I promise you, everyone will be wearing an American flag on their lapel. I took on perpetrators of all kinds. Kamala Harris, for the people. Cheaters who broke the rules for their own gain. So hear me when I say, I know Donald Trump's type. Well, now that Kamala Harris is almost certainly the Democratic presidential nominee, how will she beat Donald Trump? I think there'll be a few themes that she will push during her campaign. The first one will be generational change. She's 59, he's in his late 70s. She's a younger candidate. Polls say that that's what Americans wanted. But these extremists, as they say, they're not like us. They didn't want Biden versus Trump. And I think you'll find that Kamala Harris will use every opportunity to remind people that she is a generation younger than Donald Trump and that she's there for a refreshing alternative. We need you to be Mamala of the country. The other aspect I think she will push will be abortion rights. Since she's been vice president, especially since Ron, the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade, Kamala Harris has been very active in highlighting the fact that the Republican Party is to the right of mainstream American public opinion when it comes to abortion, and that's an electoral advantage for the Democrats. And so she's been pushing that quite strongly. I think you'll see she does that a lot during the campaign. Because of Donald Trump, more than 20 states have abortion bans. Donald Trump thinks the government is in a better position to tell women what's in their best interest than women are to know for themselves. The third pillar I think she'll push will be the notion that Donald Trump is a threat to democracy. Just look at the politics of poison coursing through the bloodstream in the race for the Republican nomination. She'll talk about January 6th. She'll talk about the way he describes institutions like the FBI and the Justice Department as being an arm of the Democrats. I think that will be a major theme of hers as well. When we have leaders who bully and attack a free press and undermine our dem uh, democratic institutions, that's not our America. He would not disavow what happened on January 6th. He would not give a clear answer on whether he would stand by the election results this November. So what will Donald Trump attack Kamala Harris on? Well, I think you're going to definitely see him attack her on the southern border issue. The entire world is pouring into our country because of this very foolish administration. The greatest invasion in history is taking place right here in our country. Kamala Harris was given partial responsibility for the southern border by Joe Biden. The southern border has been a bit of a disaster for Biden with more than 10 million unauthorized immigrants coming over during his presidency. Republicans will attack her relentlessly for that. And that means we have Kamala. I think she's going to be better. She's so bad. They'll also attack her for cost of living. Um, their basic theme with Kamala Harris is that she was the vice president to Joe Biden, so she therefore carries the can for his policies. So it's going to be a ding-dong battle for the next three and a half months. I stand before you today to announce my candidacy for President of the United States.